It's very important for a student to emerge from a university experience with the ability to write well because in almost every profession I can think of, writing is expected, good writing is expected. Well, my name is Cole Bennett, and I am an associate professor of English at ACU, and I'm the director of the Writing Center here. And the reason that I'm in charge of the Writing Center is because I love writing, and I think writing is one of the most important parts of the college experience. Professors are ever more requiring less fill-in-the-blank, multiple-choice evaluation for their course content and moving ever more toward having students write essays and final papers to show their learning. In my role as Writing Center Director, I speak with faculty a lot who have um, both suggestions and complaints about students' writing. And I hear a lot of things like uh, <clears throat> student papers are not coherent. Uh, they appear to be thrown together at, at the last minute they are poorly edited at the sentence level, and they do not have the appropriate focus, whether it's one single argument being made or maybe two or three themes throughout the paper as the assignment has requested. Uh, I, hear those, I hear those things a lot. Online populations are unique, and my first piece of advice for a person who's taking an online course here is that he or she should go to a writing center in the town where that person lives. We have a policy here at ACU in our writing center where we help anyone who walks in the door, whether that person is a student here or not, whether that person is enrolled even at a different university or just a citizen of the community. We want to help people write better. Most writing centers have that policy. So if there's a person who is enrolled in ACU online but lives in a different city, I would suggest highly that that person find a writing center in that town where you can sit down with a tutor face to face, go over the assignment, really work on the ins and outs of the writing content, find out if there are some editing issues to address. But sometimes that doesn't happen because a person lives in a more remote area or a place where there's not a writing center. So that person can send an email to writingcenter at acu.edu and contact us and send the paper online and we can get a tutor to look at it and address it electronically. I would expect a person would hear back from a tutor within, say, 48 hours. I think all students enrolled in a university should have a good dictionary and a good thesaurus. Most of those come prepackaged on most new computers nowadays. There's a built-in dictionary and thesaurus. Many times they're the same piece of software and that works really well. Also, depending upon the discipline in which you do most of your work, you should have the very latest APA guide or MLA guide or Chicago or Turabian. And if you are not sure which one, you should contact your advisor and find out. And if you are about to uh, be writing a lot of papers, you're going to find out soon anyway. But professors are very uh, intent upon your using those correctly and using them well whenever you're citing research. So the very newest version of those handbooks should be on your desk. Also, there's the Purdue OWL that you can access, which is an online writing extravaganza, I want to say. It just, it's got so many resources at your fingertips. I also would refer you to our own website, which is acuwritingcenter.wordpress.com. And we have several resources there you can download for your own use. I tell a lot of students this piece of advice. Where people who are writers get in trouble is when they try to use the two muscles they have at the same time that pertain to writing. Everyone has a creator and everyone has a critiquer. And anytime I meet someone who has writer's block, I find it's because they're trying to do both at the same time. I've seen people sit at a computer and write one sentence over and over again, or I've seen them sit at a computer and write their introductory paragraph 
over several hours and never get on with their paper. And the advice I give them is to spend a great deal of time producing a lot of text, creating a lot of text, make a mess, and then allow themselves to come back with a critiquing muscle and say, what about this mess that I just made could I keep and put onto, my, an, onto a new draft of my paper? And what, what part of it am I not sure that I would use, but I might, I'm gonna keep it around and I'm gonna move it over here, and then I'm gonna create again and go from where I have uh, moved this text over and create much more text and come back and critique. And it, it takes practice. It's a habit of mind you have to develop. But once you can separate those two things, you'll get a lot more writing produced from which you can eventually um, produce a final draft. I really appreciate this time to explain what the Writing Center is about. A lot of students have never heard of a Writing Center before, um, and we're right next to Starbucks, which everyone knows what Starbucks is on our campus. But it's a place where we have trained and experienced tutors who will welcome you when you come with, with a piece of writing, whether it's at the beginning stages, you're just trying to get going, or whether it's at the end for proofreading. We will help you at any place, and we look forward to doing it.